about that? Yeah, just made it to the red light district. They luck with that search warrant. State police aren't even taking my calls. I'm afraid you're on your own this time. Story of my life. I got it, don't worry. Miller, Duvalli owned most of the apartments surrounding the old theater, isn't that right? Yeah, and they're very possessive of them. So if you're thinking of getting in that way, I... It's gone a little further than just thinking. Then expect it to zip straight past peaceful negotiation the minute they see you. Jensen, you said Marchenko needed to finalize a deal, right? With the Diwali, yeah. Not a lot to go on, I know. Mm, maybe not. But these guys are the best smugglers in the world. Which means a lot of forged paperwork. You might find something in the Kingpin's office. Assuming I can find that. Both. But I know this young work for me. They will pay triple what we agreed. That is good for business. But at what cost? This is not a fucking discussion! We can still limit the damage. We do not know what these people have planned for London. It could be... I decide how the Valley do business, not you. But this orchid, you want to deliver to the Safe Harbor Convention before it even begins. Do you have shit in your ears as well as between them? Get the fuck out of my office! Now! Miller, Marchenko is targeting the Safe Harbor Convention in London. Jesus, there'll be hundreds of people there. How fast can we move on this? I'll warn London and get Mac working on a mobilization plan for them. You go home. We'll contact you there. Alex, they are hitting London. The Diwali agreed to smuggle weapons and the Orchid into Apex Center. Fuck, man. They want to take out Brown. He's their real target. I've been digging into him. Get to my apartment. Explain it to me there. We got it wrong, Adam. Brown's financial prospects aren't as rosy as we thought. He stands to lose trillions if the Human Restoration Act passes. That doesn't make any sense. Millions of displaced odds will flock to Rabia. And the city can't support them. Brown's been selling investors a pumped-up dream. The corporate city-state where like-minded individuals govern themselves while investors reap the profits. Kinda goes against the idea of a one-world government. Yeah, and if it fails, so does Brown, the Santo Group, and anyone else standing in the Illuminati's way. So they want to kill a competing dream and get rid of their augmented problem in one fell swoop. I take it Brown's been campaigning against the act? And unlike Rucker, he's got the money and influence to stop it. What about the orchid sample I gave you? Marchenko's smuggling more of it into London. Were you able to analyze it? Believe it or not, it's not a bioweapon. Or at least it's not meant to be one. It's a genome editing drug. It targets the gene linked to Og rejection and deletes it. Og rejection? Must be why I survived. I don't suffer from rejection syndrome. What? Are you telling me you don't need neuropazine? Shit, man, that makes you... One in a billion, I know. The Orchid, Alex. You said it's not meant to be a bioweapon. Right. The files you and Janus got from the vault? They suggest Reed's team hasn't finished making the Orchid yet. It's supposed to replace the deleted gene with an artificial one. One that accepts augmentations. But until they do, it's deadly. Darknet posted pictures of Rucker's corpse. If Brown and all his elegant, fancy potential investors get dosed, and Picus News broadcasts images of them, it's gonna send a message. I'd better warn Miller. You can stay here if you want, till the curfew's lifted. I can take care of myself. But when the task force hits London, keep me in the loop. Not sure what I can do, but... Good luck, Adam. And be safe. Miller, it's Jensen. Is McCready still working on that plan for London? Because there's another variable to consider. You can brief him yourself at TF-29's airfield. We're mobilizing. Copy that. How do I get there? Damn, curfew's still in effect. So if you can get to Chicane's place, he'll fly you to it. Miller out. Miller's not here yet? He's already left for the main hangars with McCready's team. We're supposed to rendezvous with them there. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go.
Unbelievable. You told him it's a credible threat. I understand that. There are hundreds of lives at risk. I hope you're wrong about this, Jensen. So do I. Fine. Fine. Have your men pull back until I can talk to him myself. Miller out. Changing plans. Mac, you and your team will rendezvous with our London division. Secure the perimeter until I tell you to come back in. Jensen, you and I are on the roof. Is there a problem? Map it up, gentlemen. Approaching the target building now. Get your coat. You're gonna need it. I don't have to tell you what's happening. You know the drill. There are people down there. Radical, augmented people who've been sidelined by this world and who think the only way to stop the oppression is by tearing down everything in their way. Their grievances may be just, maybe they should be heard, but never on these terms. The world may be going to shit, but we're here to stand against the chaos. Every one of the guests down there are counting on us to keep them safe. Let's make sure we do. Director Miller, I'm Nathaniel Brown. Well, thank you for agreeing to handle this discreetly. We didn't exactly have a choice. You threatened to invoke the Corporate Sovereignty Act. I gave your London division a full day to sweep for explosives. They found nothing. It's not just bombs we're concerned with. I've also replaced all the food and beverage brought in extra guards from Tarvis Security Services and ordered the men to work with your team when it arrives. Trust me, I'm taking this threat very seriously. Then why not cancel the event? This isn't the first time extremists have threatened to tear down the Safe Harbor Initiative. pro og supporters think we're profiting from their misery, promoting more failures like Gollum City. Well, anti-Og racists can't stand the thought of any augmented person living in peace. Canceling this event will only embolden all of them. The men planning to attack here tonight are no ordinary extremists. They murdered Talus Rucker. And they want to frame the Augmented Rights Coalition if their attack tonight succeeds. Is this true? How do you know it? How does it matter? We're here because of a credible threat against you and your Safe Harbor Convention. These men are out to stomp you. They know you've been campaigning against the Human Restoration Act. They need it to pass. They don't care how many lives they destroy as long as that happens. But we do. It's Agent Jensen, isn't it? David Seraph told me about you. You might not believe this, Agent, but I'm also trying to save lives tonight. The lives of your people. The several members of the UN Security Council are on my guest list tonight. I plan to convince them just how wrong the act really is. Talus Rucker couldn't stop it from passing. But I can. Where are you meeting then? In a secure conference room off the reception hall. Men from your London division have already cleared it. Doesn't matter. I want to see this room myself, and I want Agent Jensen here to coordinate with Tarvos security, while the rest of my team re-examines the building. Discreetly, of course. The head of our Tarvis division is Liam Slater. He's waiting for your man to join him in the central security office. Go see him, Agent, and keep McCready and me in the loop. Mr. Brown? if you'll show me that conference room.
Alex, I'm at the Apex Center. Brown's got members of the Security Council here tonight. Members sympathetic to our rights. You understand they must be protected at all costs. Janus? Were you eavesdropping on me? Yeah, forgive me, but the situation did seem to merit it. Right. Well, if I need your advice tonight, I'll ask. The Illuminati already tried once to control human evolution. Having failed, it appears that some of them now are pushing for complete eradication of your kind. We need to stop them. Brown and the people he's meeting with tonight may be the only ones who can. Adam, Janus is right. We'll see. Move away. Access to this part of the building is restricted. Security personnel only. Chief Slater is expecting me. Chief... Oh, right. He's, um, unavailable at the moment. Urgent matter. The urgent matter is why I'm here. I'm sorry. Who did you say you were with? I didn't. Look, I have an appointment to meet with Liam Stevens. Chief Liam Stevens. And I don't have a lot of time. Could you try him on the radio for me? I'll do better than that. You wait here, and I'll tell Stevens personally that you are here to see him, okay? Miller, McCready. Tarvos isn't letting me in. The guard I spoke to, uh, something's not right here. McCready, anyone from Tarvos security contact you yet? Negative. Which is odd, actually. Shit. If the building's already compromised, we're... Forget it. We stay on task. Jensen? Get inside Slater's office and find out what's going on. Copy that. Max, send a team up for support right away. Already on the way. Miller, McCready, I've got Tarvos bodies up here. We are definitely compromised. Fuck. All right, men. Listen up. We expected something like this. Mac, how close are you to the CSO? Entering the stab... Oh, shit. Fucking doors are on security lockdown. I can't go anywhere but back. Jensen, there should be a security override switch inside Slater's office. Get in there, get the doors unlocked, and get Mac and his team moving again. Copy that. This will show them. Clear patrol. And Base run. is compromised. Got to set up somewhere else. My friends, there's been darkness in the world of late. But where there is darkness, there is also opportunity, and we must seize it. We are the ones who can bring light back into the world. If we must, we will take up that torch and we will make sure that all the augmented have a chance to live with dignity. I'd like to propose a toast. Miller, to McCready, center. CCTV shows another compromised area. Back of the house. Looks like catering. I've got eyes on that area as well. It looks like our bogus Tarvos units are using a guarded security door to access the reception hall. Oh, fuck! They're everywhere, circulating among the guests. What are they playing at? Why aren't they fucking shooting yet? Jensen, any sign of Marchenko or the Orchid? Negative. Neither. Miller, can you get to Brown? I'm moving to him now. But Jensen, we need to know if the Orchid is in play. Get down here, circulate and find a key to that door. One of the guards must have it on him. Copy that. But it'd be easier if I knew how many guards I'm dealing with. I'll upload their patrol routes to your retinal log. But we don't want all hell breaking loose down here. So take them down quietly. Mac, you rally with Jensen ASAP. I'll pick up Brown and get him safe. Good luck, men. All right, guys. I'm inside the reception hall. Got eyes on some of the guards, but there's no telling which one has the key card. Well, you'll find it soon enough, mate, because you need to take them all out. Can't have anyone in the weeds, yeah. And do it quietly. I'm close to your position now. I'll see you soon. I've got the key card. Should be in the catering area soon. You guys copy? <coughs> Miller! Jensen! You there? Fucking stairwells were rigged with tripwires! <coughs> Are you okay? Is it the bombs? <coughs> No, negative, just some low-yield shit, I'm fine. Look, uh, I gotta work around this debris. It's gonna take me a while longer to reach you. No worries, I got this one. Just be safe. And Jensen, listen, we're lucky I didn't fuck it all with the racket I made, so you need to make sure the reception hall is cleared before you press on, yeah? Mac out!
All right, Mac. I took care of all enemy units in the reception hall. The place is clear. Copy that. Moving into the catering area now. All right, Miller, McCready. I'm inside catering. Jensen, I think my comms might still be fucked after that stairwell explosion. Are you getting anything from Miller? Negative. Miller, you hearing us? Jesus Christ, this whole fucking building's gone daffy. Wouldn't be surprised if it's in the air. Well, look, I can read you fine, so just keep me posted. Creedy. Miller's hurt. Bad. I need backup in the catering area. Jensen, Christ. <sighs> Don't try to move, Jim. Helps you be on his way soon. No. No. Forget about me. <sighs> You've got to find Brown. Warn him. The, the gold mask. They, they poisoned the champagne. Send it to meeting rooms. Beyond the, the reception hall. Oh. I tried to stop her, but I ended up here. <sighs> Creedy, the orchid is in play. We need to. Uh! You should be dead, Adam Jensen. Instead, you show up here with your comrades in tow, forcing me to adapt to the situation. So, poisoning Brown and the delegates, that's your plan B? Sorry, brother, it's not gonna work. You only see a piece of the picture. Maybe you can save those rich bastards. Maybe in some grand hypothetical future, doing so will erase the damage that has been done. Restoring liberty and balance. Improving the lives of millions of augmented people like us. But tonight, because of you, hundreds of men, women and children must be sacrificed. Because of your interference, I had to place explosives in the residential towers across the way. I can send a detonation signal at any time. But if you come to the exhibition hall right now, maybe I won't have to. We can avoid another unnecessary tragedy, brother. Provided you don't take too long to reach me. McCready. The bombs. I heard. I don't know if I'll find him in time, but I'm already on it. Fucking hell! Shit. Gold masks. <laughs> really did a number on me. <sighs> Just hang on, Miller. I'll find... No time. Or force me to drink. Oh, too late for me, Jensen, but you. There's still time to save the others. Forced you to drink... The Orchid. I have the antidote. What? How did... There's still time. No. No, for forget it. Not worth wasting on just one life. The others might need it. I won't sit here and let you die. Uh, disobeying orders. I thought you said you weren't going to be a problem. Just take it easy. You'll be okay. Let the antidote do its thing. You were right. About everything. I'm sorry, Adam. That's not important now. No, it is. My God always told me to trust you. <laughs> you have listened more. Go. The meeting room. Say Brown. Then put this bastard down. As we consider the importance of this moment on a national level, on a global level, on a humanitarian level... Nobody drink! The champagne's been poisoned. But I had it replaced. It's a cuvée de prestige. You and your guests need to get out of Apex Center now, Brown. Slater's dead. 
Tarvos is compromised. They've come to stop you. Can you get everyone to the helipad? Yes, yes, of course. My security team will escort us, but what about the other attendees? TF-29 will evacuate them. I'm going after the people who did this. Then you have a long way to climb. McCready, I got to Brown, warned him about the champagne. His security team is getting him and his guests to safety. Good, that. Fucking Marchenko wasn't lying, though. The residential towers are packed solid with explosives. If he uses that remote detonator... I'm heading to the exhibition hall now to stop him. Get your team started on defusing those bombs. Maybe with a little luck we can pull this off. Luck? We're both gonna need a shitload of that, mate. I'll see you on the other side. You are taking a long time to arrive, brother. I would rather not cause more death today than necessary. But like the good soldier I am, I will do what I must. If you do not stop me. Time is running out! Why have you not come? Is your faith in hypotheticals truly that strong? I can wait no longer. Have your chance, Adam Jensen. If only you had taken it. I'm taking you down, Victor. I do not fear death, brother. Greedy. It's over. Hundreds of mourners crowded the streets of London today, holding hands and placing flower bouquets in memory of the men, women, and children whose lives were struck down prematurely last week during that devastating terrorist attack on Apex Center. Details of the massacre continue to trickle in, raising eyebrows and leaving many people wondering why the United Nations has not yet put the Human Restoration Act to a vote. Earlier today, I spoke with Santos CEO Nathaniel Brown, who was in the Apex Convention Center when the augmented extremists attacked. Brown had this controversial opinion to give. Now is not the time to make rash decisions, Eliza. People need to process what happened, to allow emotions to cool, so that wisdom and intelligence can guide us. Wisdom and intelligence, indeed. This is Eliza Kassan. Go ahead and roll your eyes, bitch. That act is dead. Even after everything that happened, those delegates you saved stonewalled the vote at the Security Council. Janus says it'll never get its support back. That's one victory, at least. Adam, I'm sorry. It was an impossible situation, but you had to choose. I know you didn't make the decision lightly. After all the suffering I've seen, all the hatred and paranoia against the Augmented, 
I had to secure the future first, because the present sure isn't working. It may not be for a while yet, but at least thanks to you, we've got a chance now. Ark's gonna take a hit for this, a big hit, but the Juggernaut Collective is already working on fixing it. Doing what? Spreading the truth about Garm and who really attacked in London. We've been digging a lot deeper into Marchenko too. Publishing everything we find. Give us time. You'll see. The task force might be able to help with that. Are you kidding me? Shit, man. You're not thinking about going back to them, are you? I haven't handed in my resignation yet. But you proved they were corrupt. You can get out of there. Not everything the task force does is smoke and mirrors. They can make a difference, and some of them really want to. Like Miller? Miller isn't corrupt, Alex. He's a good cop, who's willing to put his life on the line for people. If he finds out his boss helped plan the attack, I'm sure we can get him on our side. <sighs> this sucks. I was looking forward to getting out of this city. Dennis will be relieved, though. He's been looking for an angle to get us closer to Manderley and Page. I'm sure I can find one for him. But Alex, tell him I need to meet with him first. In person this time. Because until I do, Janus is just another shadow pulling strings. Criminals may have achieved the impossible in Prague last week. A break-in at the most secure data archiving facility in the world. According to rumors circulating the internet, Forensic computer experts were invited to examine the Palisade Property Bank's lava wall defenses after one of its account holders reported an unusual data retrieval delay. No word yet on which account holder filed the report or what information, if any, was accessed. Palisade Bank Corporation owners released a statement earlier this evening claiming that any rumors of a break-in at our highly secured facility are just that, rumors. Between you and me, folks, I think they doth protest too much. A coroner's report released in Prague today offers shocking new insight into the death of Dr. Talis Rucker, former leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. Apparently, the primary cause of the doctor's death was the exceedingly high level of alcohol found in his system. No other toxins were present, nor were there signs of any suspicious activity. Sources close to Rucker tell me he had been struggling with alcoholism ever since becoming a public figure. I am sure I do not need to remind you folks that the organization he founded, the Augmented Rights Coalition, has been linked to last week's horrifying terror attack in London. Augmented terrorist Viktor Marchenko, whom law enforcement officials describe as being instrumental in the planning and execution of devastating violence in London last week, is being moved to a secure facility for questioning. A long-standing member of the Augmented Rights Coalition, Marchenko has been very outspoken about his motives for the attack, claiming it was appropriate retribution for injustices suffered by the Augmented. I do not know about you folks, but there is only one question I really want the answer to right now. When will the United Nations pass the Human Restoration Act so that dangerous killers like Marchenko can no longer terrorize us? It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. Today, of course, we are all a little bit wiser. It did not take long for Ark to reveal its true colors once Dr. Rucker was dead. Since last week's attack, the United Nations has officially labeled Ark a terrorist organization. As we speak, Brave state police officers in the Czech Republic are raiding our controlled compounds inside the Udalek complex. Here is an example of the defiance they are encountering. This... this is where you have it all wrong. Wrong! Ark was framed. You people, you don't see, you don't realize that Viktor Marchenko was not Ark. He was trying to kill Ark, kill the cause. But he has failed. We are strong, we are innocent, and we will not be used as pawns by rich, scared men who want to make us less than human. I am sorry, young man, but methinks thou doth protest too much. The Diwali criminal organization is under intense scrutiny this evening for their role in the London attack. 
Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague supplied weapons and logistical support to ARC terrorists. Among those being sought for questioning is Radic Nikoladze, leader of the Diwali's Prague chapter. Sources close to the man tell me, however, that Nikoladze has gone off the grid, and it is unlikely he will ever be found. An indication of guilt, perhaps? Join the online discussion and let us know what you think. News out of Paris today, where a sharp rise in illegal underground publications may have links to a prison escape recently orchestrated in Prague. Last week, Czech state police were holding members of the underground news group Samostat on charges of disturbing the peace, human trafficking, and media terrorism. The radicals escaped their holding cell, however, and are believed to have subsequently made their way deeper into Western Europe. Shortly after their escape, a radical publication called Silhouette began appearing throughout France. Has Samistat rebranded itself as Silhouette? I am sure you will agree with me on this one, folks. No matter what name these people go by, there is nothing more dangerous than the spread of false news. That is not the point. You should have all been informed. That is why we are here now. Volkart, what's done is done. The broad strokes of the operation were very clear and haven't changed. There are always adjustments that will occur in the field. You should know that. Adjustments? Those were not mere adjustments. Interpol was more capable than we anticipated. They have a new augmented agent by the name of... Adam Jensen who we believe may have had external help, possibly by the Juggernaut Collective or even Janus directly. We're looking into it, but we... All that is speculation at this point. Let's find out more and reconvene later this week. Thank you, everyone. That'll be all. It's your own fault. I'm aware of that, Doctor. Elizabeth sends her regards. Report. Overall, the subject seems quite well adjusted despite the massive traumas he's experienced. And his memories are still consistent with the program. He is remarkably stable. Excellent. How close is he to contact with Janus? Very. It's only a matter of time.